So I am in motherboard hell. I uh, got this Asus Prime Z590V Intel chip and it, it will not post. Um, this is the second board. The first one, I tried everything and sent it back. And they sent me this new one. I said, okay, I'll even upgrade to an um, to one of these i3s, Core i3 uh, discrete graphics. This is why I need this because there's no building graphics, right? So I can't use HDMI. I went to the Asus site, cross-referenced the CPU, cross-referenced the memory, make sure it was the right memory, it was compatible. All good. Got the replacement board from Amazon. Slapped on a, uh, I think this is a 1660 Super Zotac. And uh, nothing, won't even post. It, 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 it lights up, but nothing. I, I tried everything. Switching memory. I even went back to an older G, uh, CPU just to make sure. This is a brand new CPU, this is a brand new board. Unplugged everything, even the um, little power switch, just in case it was shortened out. This is my new little wood rack I built for 15 bucks. I wanted to get it up and running and start uh, start generating some bucks, man, on this uh, third rack I have building here. So that's where I'm at. I mean, this if you guys have any suggestions, what I did, I did try PSU the other week on the other motherboard, as the other one still won at post. Someone said it's very finicky on memory. So what I did, I ordered another one of these uh, 2400 speeds DDR4, 8 gigs to put in this last slot. That's what someone said. And maybe I'll try another power supply too, but the thing's getting power, so right. All right, I got the switch on. Nope, I don't have the switch on. Let's just get this thing jacked up here. Do the old jump start. There we go. Hit the old jump start pins. You'll see it all fires up. Even I got this fan down here just to make sure it fires up. Spins up, gets power. No posting, no nothing. Screen is blank. I have no idea. This stuff is driving me nuts. It can't be two brick motherboards in a row. It just can't be. I'm going back to what I know works. I'm going back to the X470 Gaming Plus Max with the uh, Ryzen, and I'm going to get a, 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 what do you call it, a 5, and just uh, put it in there, and I can uh, just work with what I know. I don't know why this thing is giving me such a pain, a pain in the butt, but we got we got to go in there. Now watch, if I hit Control-Alt-Delete, look at that. It gets a little juice to the fan. It does something. It's getting some interrupt but nothing, nothing on the screen. Oh, I even did the CMOS, I even uh, went to the pin, two pins right here, shorted those out with a screwdriver with you know the power cable out and everything. Then I even popped out the battery for like 10 minutes and nothing's coming up. I mean, it spins up, power's fine. Reseated the main plug here from the uh, PSU, reseated these things to make sure they're down. I thought maybe that was it reseated the memory because sometimes they, you don't push it down far enough. This is what I've been dealing with, man. Last two weekends ago, I did the same thing. It's just frustrating. So I don't know if you had these problems. You just want to build something and it's just, it, this stuff just is a time suck. There, I hit the control out, delete, it, delete again. It's, I mean, it's, it's trying to boot, but I guess I could put a little bell on a, 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 a speaker and see if it does any beeps. Like right here's the speaker. Where's my finger? There's my finger. Right here's the speaker jumper. I could do that or get some light on there. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I just wanted to get these three cards up and running and mining because crypto's hot, right? I just wanted to get that one, but then I'm this stupid motherboard is driving me nuts. And then you do a search on, on the internet for this crap and you see no, everyone else has the same problems with this stuff. And they, you know, what I end up, the solution is, Oh, I got it working. I go, well, how'd you get it working? Oh, I got, I replaced the motherboard. And then uh, try to find another Intel-based motherboard that I can use the CPU here. This is, again, this is discrete graphic. Get this for you. So it says discrete graphics required. That means you need to have a graphics card. Otherwise, you're never going to see anything, even if it works. So, because that will be, your CPU won't be able to handle integrated graphics, of which I know the CPUs I get for my uh, my uh, AMD CPUs for the uh, MSI board, they have integrated graphics, which is sweet because you need to stay plugged into the HDMI port 
and you don't have to uh, run a uh, HDMI out of the uh, video cards. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm sure others have had this problem. I'm sure you guys have dealt with this. This is a this this is a really annoying roadblock because I want to get I just want to get the freaking cards up and running. I mean, again, it's got to be the memory. If it's not the memory, then I give up. Uh, CPU is right. I cross reference everything on the ASUS site. Double checked it because you know it's not rocket science. Just cross reference the part numbers. So that's where I'm at. What do you guys think? If you know anything else to try, let me know. Everything's unplugged. Everything. I'm not even getting anything nothing's posting um no bios or anything no bios uh, screen it's just frustrating